morning guys today is saturday july 2nd and today this video is going to be showing you a few things that i eat as well as following me along throughout my day so i hope you enjoy so this is our current backyard and i love that we have a backyard and i'm grateful for it but can you just look at this grass <laughs> like what is this such a joke this is what happens when you live in the desert and your backyard and landscape is all rocks and then they try to put a little bit of grass but it just dies but this is our backyard. We unfortunately cannot put the dog back here or let the dog stay outside by itself because our rock wall slash fence, whatever you want to call that, is not high enough. So that's kind of a bummer. But I still want to get a dog. So I'm, our plan is if I get a teaching job, then a dog it is. Okay, so this is my breakfast this morning. It is one package of the Outfit Oatmeal, which looks just like this. And then um a one fourth cup of raspberries and then half a cup of strawberries and i just cut those up and then i measured out the peanut butter on the scale here so i always just zero it out and then i just measure it in grams with a spoon so this is a little bit under a serving which is 34 grams then i just put it in there and now i'm gonna eat So we still have not unpacked anything just because we're still waiting for our furniture to come, which is not coming until July 12th. But this is where Annabelle always sleeps. Like in this bucket with random clothes and shoes in it. Annabelle! <laughs> She's crazy. So this is how I weigh out food that I'm going to eat. So this is just pre-cooked chicken. I just cut it and put it in a Tupperware. And then I zero out the scale. So it says zero and it's measuring in ounces right now. And then I just literally, I don't have two hands, so I can't use a fork or anything, but I literally just dump it out and then weigh it again. And now I know that I've taken 5.5 ounces out. So that's how much is on my plate. And that's it. Okay, so this is gonna be my pre-workout meal. And I know this is very typical like bro food, but it's just easier. And I'm also gonna have, you know, different snacks and things later, but it's just easier for me to get my protein in this way. So I like to pre-cook chicken and just eat it when I need to. So this is just chicken, broccoli, and then cherry tomatoes before my workout. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys how I add food to my fitness pal. It's so easy once you get used to using the same foods. It's very simple. So I'm just gonna click the my fitness pal app right here come on i hope that's not blurry sorry i'm gonna go down to the bottom diary and then there's where i put all my breakfast i'm not sure if you can see that and then i'm gonna go to lunch and i don't really put mine in specific order i just use breakfast lunch dinner and snacks even though i don't always eat in that like way but then i'm gonna look at the top and I've eaten chicken a million times, so it should be in here. Chicken. And Costco. It's actually not where I got this, but it's still eating chicken, so I don't really care. Now, this is four ounces. So I'm going to change the serving size to, it was five and a half. So I'm going to do, and that gets me to 5.3. And I could spend more time and get closer if I wanted to, but I'm not going to. Then I'm going to go to cherry tomatoes. I have it all in here because I've eaten these a lot, so it just saves, so it's really simple. And then go to broccoli. Broccoli is something else that I have a lot of. And steamed half cook, and I'm gonna do half cup, sorry. I'm gonna do three servings of that because it was one and a half cups of broccoli, and that's it. And then if you turn your phone sideways, It'll tell you the macronutrients for each. Okay, so I'm about to go to the gym and it's a little bit late for me. I usually don't work out this late, but it's kind of a weird day because Clay had CQ yesterday, which means he works the 24 hour shift. And then I stayed up super late editing my first video. That was actually the second time I'd done it. And it takes a really long time. So I took forever doing that. And then that means I slept in later and I just been chilling today. So going to the gym, I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet just because this week has been really weird for me since I took a week off from lifting when I was traveling here. And so everything I did this week made me so sore and my body is just like, 
I don't know, but I still want to go get a good lift in a cardio session. So I'm going to just kind of wing it and figure out what I want to do when I get there. And that's another thing to remember is you don't always have to have a specific plan. Like the whole point is to get your body moving and get active and get a sweat on. Like that's all that really matters. So yeah, that's it. I'm going to go get my lift on and I have this for, let me show you guys. For my pre-workout, I have an orange monster. I didn't want to take any alphamine today just because I didn't feel like it. And I love monster. So good. This is the Ultra Sunrise flavor. It's really good. And it has zero calories, zero grams of protein, zero, and two carbs. So it's actually four carbs for the entire serving. And that's it. So here we go. Okay, so real quick, I wanted to talk about these headphones. These are super cheap. They were only $25 on Amazon, and these are wireless, so they're Bluetooth able, and you can just connect them to your phone, and you don't have to put your phone on an armband or whatever, carry it with you, and they last a pretty good time. Like, you can walk pretty far away from them, and they'll still play the music, so it's awesome, and I absolutely love not having to wear an armband. That was, like, my biggest annoyance working out in the gym, especially with the cord, and it would always, like, come out of my ears while I was lifting, and super annoying, so I'm really glad I have these, and they're cheap, so they're not, like, Beats by Dre or anything, but they're cheap, and they still have, they're still good quality, in my opinion, so you should, you should check those out on Amazon. Also, Sorry for my pineapple bun. It's just what we're working with today. I really don't care, so it's fine. But, um, oh, this is my gallon of water. Now, I don't normally take a whole gallon to the gym or anywhere with me for that matter, but since I'm not working right now and I don't have to, like, go to school or anything, I don't really care. So I'm just bringing this gallon with me just because it's easier to track my intake. Now, I have had a couple bottles of water before this of the smaller ones I didn't like fill in so I just try to get this down all day and then once I have that anything else is just extra so the monster ice drinks anything that's like has water in it but I don't count that towards my water goal intake so this is what I want to drink by the end of the day and that's it so you don't need to take a whole gallon of water into the gym I know a lot of people hate it and think it looks dumb but again I'm not here to like please anybody I don't really care what people think so that's what we're doing and just it's easier for me so yeah Show me all the places I've never known I will chase the night Race all of these broken dreams and flight because I knew that they would probably close early today because it's a Donza or a holiday weekend but I called earlier and the guy on the phone told me they were open till 10 p.m. which I thought was weird because I know that they closed at 8 p.m. last night so it didn't really make sense to me but I believed him and then I got here at 7 30 and of course they closed at 8 so no bueno but that's okay oh I'm learning Spanish already so I just did a quick 30 minutes on the Stairmaster it always makes me sweat so much so that's fine it makes me feel better after but I definitely wanted to get a lift in so that kind of sucks but I'm not the type of person to want to do a 30 minute lift I just I don't know it's not it's not necessary and you can completely get a good lift in, in that time but I just like to work out for a little bit longer than that so I'm gonna let my muscles rest a little bit longer and save that lift for tomorrow so I think I'm also going to do a track workout, like a HIT style track workout and record it for you guys. So we'll see if that happens. But I wanted to talk a little bit about something that I think a lot of people struggle with and people don't really mention it as much as we should. So it's gym intimidation. And basically what that means is when you're new to weightlifting or new in the gym in general and you're not quite sure what you're doing but you want to get started. And I think a lot of people end up quitting early or leaving the gym really soon because it's just too much to take in and there's you feel like people are looking at you, you feel like people are judging you watching you and in all reality no one wants that <laughs> and when especially when you don't feel confident in what you're doing it makes you want to just leave and stop or give up but I'm here to tell you that every single person that has ever lifted weights or gotten into late weightlifting deals with that at least I know that 
everybody that I know has and it's common it's not like you're the only one and it's normal just like with anything you do if you've never done it before of course it's gonna be scary and intimidating but the more you do it and the better you get at it and the less intimidating it is so even for me coming to Texas and coming to a new gym although I know what I'm doing and I have a lot of knowledge on exercises and weightlifting and things like that I still feel weird just because I've never been in that gym before so everything's in a different spot I have no idea where anything is so I feel like I'm just constantly like walking around looking for what I want and people are probably looking at me and like does she know what she's doing like what is she doing but you just have to learn to not care and worry about what you're doing and your goals and let them do them and most people especially in the weightlifting areas or weightlifting gyms are not going to be judging you just because they are more concerned with themselves and that's just the sad truth they really just want to take selfies and look at themselves in the mirror they don't really you know they may judge you and think like oh she's new whatever but in all reality they care more about themselves than anything else so that's just how it is um like I mentioned in my last video, it's more of a me versus me thing. So everybody is is concerned with becoming their personal best. And although you may feel silly and uncomfortable, you just have to push past it. And it will get better, I promise. It does get better. So, yeah, that's my little rant, car rant. <laughs> Maybe we should call these car rambles with Brooklyn. I don't know. But I'm going to go ahead and drive home now and probably do some editing. Um, I also have some work to do for some clients. And that's about it. Catch you later.
guests sitting in the bleachers. I just didn't want to bother them, but next time I'm going to do it on the stadium bleachers. And it was a really good workout. I'm like sweating so much. And it doesn't help that it was already 94 degrees when I got here, but that's Texas for you. So thanks for watching this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. Please comment below. Let me know what else you guys would like to see. Have a great day.